Welcome to TTI. Welcome to a whole new world of science. This video lists some of the coolest scientific progress in recent years. And my apology, I am sick, so I might sound a little bit stuffy. Without further ado, let's start the list. Pop Star Carter is a robot developed by the NVIDIA team, which is responsible for providing its colleagues and staff members with bags of fresh popcorn. The robot can be used to transfer objects from one location to another within a specified area or range. The robot is built by Claire Delaunay on a Segway RMP210 robotic mobility platform. It uses a LiDAR sensor and a stereoscopic camera to navigate the area around it. The robot has several other uses, for example, it can be used to pick up dishes in a kitchen, find parking spaces for employees, helping visitors to navigate to conference or meeting rooms, and so on. The cool thing about this robot is that it can be customized. The owner can use different scenarios, map locations, tasks, and building lanes, and plug the data into the robot and the robot will function accordingly. Currently, this robot is used for delivery of popcorn as a healthy snack on every Thursday in the NVIDIA office for its staff members. EPFL Drone EPFL, École Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne, built this drone which is equipped with feathers and has the unique ability, unlike other drones, to change its shape, direction, and being adapted to the external environmental conditions. This drone is inspired by the flying technique of birds. The drones developed today are pretty much precisely made for a specific condition, weather, circumstance, or scenario, whereas this drone is a shapeshifter. The drone is developed by the researchers at Laboratory of Intelligent Systems, which had the idea of building an energy-efficient, winged drone capable of changing its wingspan, flying at high speed, and moving through tight spaces. The wing is mainly made up of composite materials in order to maximize strength while reducing overall weight. Research of LIS has just been published in the Royal Society Journal Interface Focus, and the work for the EPFL drone was funded by NCCR Robotics. The head of LIS stated, With the foldable wings, we discovered that we didn't need ailerons to help the drone turn. By changing the wingspan and surface area during flight, we could make it turn automatically. Royal Jet Capsule As the name clarifies, this is a capsule-shaped mini-jet, which is made by an Italian company by the name of Jet Capsule, founded by Pier Paolo Lazzarini. The fully customizable jet capsule is an ultra-futuristic yacht made almost entirely from fiberglass costing 145,000 euros. The Italian makers offer a variety of interiors, including a small kitchen and bathroom, as well as beds and luxurious extras such as mood lighting and sun decks. The attached water jets can be used to fly board a sport in which a rider is thrusted into the air by pressure forced from the sole of specially made boots. The jet capsule is powered by an enormous 740 bhp diesel engine and a water jet, propelling it to a top speed of 35 knots or 40 miles per hour. It measures 23 feet long and 13 feet wide. It's twice as spacious as most vessels of a similar length making it ideal for entertaining or ferrying passengers. Pier Paolo and his team have sold five boats in total, two in Russia, two in China, and another in Spain. Leonardo Humanoid Robot Caltech is developing a humanoid robot with some pretty powerful augmentations. The Leg on Aerial Robotic Drone, or Leonardo, is a bipedal robot with a thruster that gives it exceptional balancing ability and advanced agility. Leo stands about 0.75 meters tall and is comprised of mostly carbon fiber. It is really light, which allows its drone like thrusters to lift the whole robot off the ground. Leo isn't a flying robot, though. The thrusters are designed to give the robot a better balance, especially his upper body, so that his legs don't have to take that task on as well. The propellers on the thrusters 
work in synchronization with the legs of the robot to help it make advanced movements. Humanoid robots are difficult to build because humans are incredibly complex with ranges of movements that almost seem to defy our own understanding of physics. Ionocraft Mini Drone Researchers from UC Berkeley are designing a mini microbot that eschews those moving parts but is still capable of taking flight. Their Ionocraft doesn't follow the same biomimetic approach as the others, but instead relies on electrohydrodynamic thrust to provide lift, which is a technique to create airflow using electrical energy. Measuring just 2 cm by 2 cm and weighing 30 mg, the Ionocraft uses ion thrusters that take advantage of a high-strength electrical field to generate ionized air. Ions within that air are drawn to a negative-charged grid, and while on their way to that grid, they collide with the neutral air molecules, giving them momentum and, thus, thrust. The microbot uses four thrusters which were designed using a thin emitter wire and a collector grid. When a voltage is applied between the two, it produces a positive ion cloud, which is drawn to the negative grid. Air is pushed and boom, thrust. Flight control is done using an onboard IMU and by altering the amount of current for each thruster, allowing it to move similarly to quadcopters controlling direction, roll, pitch, and yaw. Pacemaker Charger Despite tremendous technological advances, a key drawback of most implantable devices is their batteries, whose limited capacities restrict their long-term use. For example, a heart patient needs surgery to just replace the battery of a pacemaker, a life-saving device. However, many energy harvesting strategies involve converting energy from vibrations, pressure, and other mechanical stresses into electrical energy. This approach produces what is known as piezoelectricity. It's often used in loudspeakers and microphones. To take advantage of piezoelectricity, Dag Deverin and colleagues have developed flat devices that can be stuck onto organs and muscles such as the heart, lungs, and diaphragm. Their mechanical properties are similar to whatever they're laminated onto, so they don't hinder those tissues when they move. So far, such devices have been tested in cows, sheep, and pigs, animals with hearts roughly the same size as those of people. Scientists are also developing wearable piezoelectric energy harvesters that can be worn on joints such as the knee or elbow or in shoes and trousers. People could generate electricity for electronics whenever they walk or bend their arms or while breathing too. Liquid 3D Printer Researchers at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, LLNL in California, teamed up with collaborators from MIT, the University of Rochester, and UC Berkeley to develop this method, which flashes laser-generated hologram-like 3D images into photosensitive resin. The new 3D printer is able to make smoother, more complex, and flexible objects. CT scans which project X-rays or electromagnetic radiation into the body from various angles, actually inspired this method, as those patterns of transmitted energy need to be analyzed in order to reveal the geometry of an object, like a tumor. Jenga Playing Robot For several decades, various types of artificial intelligence have been facing off with people in highly competitive games and then quickly destroying their human competition. AI long ago mastered chess, the Chinese board game Go, and even the Rubik's Cube, which it managed to solve in just 0.38 seconds. Now machines have a new game that will allow them to humiliate humans, called Jenga, the popular game, and source of melodramatic 1980s commercials in which players strategically remove pieces from an increasingly unstable tower of 54 blocks, placing each one on top until the entire structure collapses. But this machine from MIT is equipped with a soft-pronged gripper, a force-sensing wrist cuff, and an external camera, 
allowing the robot to perceive the tower's vulnerabilities the way a human might. Thanks for watching! Which machine did you find the most impressive? Let me know the reason in the comment section below. To access more videos from us, just subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!